I gave up the corporate life to pursue my passion for kayak fishing full time. And a few times a year, I head to Los Buzos Resort in Panama. There I serve as a guest guide, helping anglers figure out one of the most epic fisheries on the planet. And I'm catching fish like this. It's a tuna, we got a tuna. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. It's a rooster! Whoa! Los Buzos Resort offers all-inclusive guided fishing trips year-round for anglers looking to knock some exotic species off their bucket list. This week, I'm here to help guide a group for roosterfish, yellowfin tuna, snapper, and much more. All right, guys, we're back here at Los Buzos Resort. My third time here in about a year. Probably my favorite place to fish in the whole world. Today, we're taking the pongas out, putting two kayaks in each one. I'm gonna be kind of the guide, the film crew. See if we can get some big tuna, big rooster fish, and maybe a marlin. We'll see. We're launching right now. You right. ready to do it? Get ready to do it, buddy. Let's go. All right, bro. Here it comes. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Here we go. Uh, oh, wait. Go ahead and get in. Yeah? Yeah, go ahead. 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 Watch all those hooks. I think I have a guess you have a bubble. All right, so we just got out here to the lump. It's an area where uh, it goes from 300 feet to up to about 30 feet. Our best chance of billfish out here, best chance of tuna, and monster roosters are out here. I'll hand you your rods. Um, today I'm gonna be on the panga, uh, kind of helping out, helping everyone, try to catch bait for people, and uh, filming all the action. So, loading in the kayaks right now, and uh, we're gonna have four kayaks in, two pangas. We should definitely get on some fish today. Could be dodging rainstorms all day, it looks like, off and on, but, uh, you know, hey, fish are already wet. So. Oh yeah, we got tuna busting all over these guys. So we stop on the popper, smash it right next to the boat. It's on fire today. Yeah, beautiful fish, bro. Erwin's here from Holland and the Netherlands. Just got his first yellowfin tuna on a popper from a kayak. Not too many people can say they've done that. Get that guy on ice. That's, that's the sign of a good day right there, man. Opa! Yeah! Hey, let's see yours, Jimmy. Jimmy wasn't quite fast enough bringing his in. What do you think that was, a shark? Looks... I don't know, I didn't see it. The shape of it looks like a shark, but they're saying, there's not many sharks out here, so it could have been a Kubera, but you get to eat that one. Nice. That's what we're out here for. That's why we've all got poppers tied on. It's not much more fun than catching a yellowfin tuna on a popper. Adam is hooked up to something big. Near the bottom, could be a big Kubera snapper, could be a big rooster fish. And right behind him, Erwin is also hooked up. He's here from Holland. He got hit while uh, kind of assisting Adam, watching Adam make sure he was all right. It is non-stop action right now here at the lump. This thing is working, Adam, whatever it is. Hey, hey! What is it? African pompano. On the bucktail, baby. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice, stud, dude. Monster Almaco Jack. Beautiful fish, dude. How about a little fish, little African pompano? Great eating. We'll definitely eat this guy up for dinner. You on? I just landed a little tuna. It's on fire today. Oh yeah, we got tuna busting. Fish on. Oh, dude, you want a blue runner? You want a big one? Oh yeah, he's still alive. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. That's a fish. 
Jimmy here from Athens, Georgia. It's first time kayak fishing. Monster Pargo snapper. Oh, great fish, man. Not bad for your first time kayak fishing, huh? Yeah, it's great. Fish on. All right, that's what we're out here for here at the Lump, Yellowfin Tuna. Uh, we've been catching them all day long. Vertical jigs, poppers, you name it. They are smashing everything. Uh, basically, you just kind of look around. It's nice and calm. So you can see them and hear them from about 100, 200 yards away. They start torpedoing out of the water. Pretty much does not matter what you throw at them. They're going to smash it. Uh, but yeah, our favorite is the popper. Nothing more fun than catching a yellowfin tuna on a popper from a kayak. And even from the pongas here, it is a blast. Get this guy on ice. He'll join the others. We're going to fresh sashimi tonight, along with a variety of other fish. Los Buzos Resort, we are slaying them here on day one. Woo! Nice. Look at that. Oh, right. That's it, you're right. oh yeah, we're not done. We're not done. Blue Trevally, African Pompano, huge amberjack, which are delicious to eat here. Got everything, got tons of yellowfin tuna. Sashimi for dinner, boy. Sashimi. First day here at Los Buzos, and we are slaying them. Everyone's caught fish. Pretty much everyone's got tuna on poppers. Can't think of much more fun than the yellowfin tuna on a popper from a freaking plastic boat, man. Woo, now we got a grouper. <laughs> Not a small one. Massive, bro. As close as you can get. That ah, looks big. Yeah, yeah. alright. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You alright? Yeah. It happens. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> it happens, man. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Cool off. It's one way to cool off. Oh man, what an incredible day. Everyone caught fish. Everyone caught some good fish. We warm out here at the lump. First day here at Los Buzos. Still got tuna. Jumping in the background right now. Leaving them biting. We're just worn out. It's 3.30. It's hot. Everyone's out of food. <laughs> yeah, this is now a survival situation. We out. Back your movies, but uh -huh. I'm drawing a blank. What's the movie oh, wow. with the one with the Harrier jet and the stunts in it? Oh, Die Hard 4. Die Hard 4. Uh, he said Die Hard. These guys are all too young. They're naming like the expendables. I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's when they were all old. Oh, that's when you were going to come back. Yeah. yeah. Slayed them today. This is about one fifth of the fish we caught today. One fifth. Maybe less. What is that? Bluefin Trevally. Really good eating, beautiful fish, good fight. Where's Hummingbird? Right here. I'm right here. Thank God he's here. That is a lot of tuna. It's a lot of tuna, buddy. Fresh yellowfin tuna, seared. Caught it about five hours ago. <laughs> Look at that. So what is this? What, what are the two? It's obviously tuna and... Tuna and... I'm yeah, assuming it's pompano? Probably pompano. Yeah. What we got here? Teriyaki tuna. Nice. Teriyaki tuna. Oh, look at her stealing. Tax man. <laughs> this is... Tuna, mahi. What's the last one? Whitney, Whitney, what do you want? Mostly amberjack. What's the first one is tuna. That's mine. The fried is mostly amberjack. No, that's all mine. <laughs> this is tuna. She was worried. What? She said Why? dolphin. No, not this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so high. I'm going to get my food too sick now. Sorry. It's amazing. We got elephant jack, tuna, mahi, snapper, some fried, some grilled. I don't know. I go light on the sides and heavy on the fish. Personally, I'm mac and cheese. I'm gonna go heavy on that. So you know, <laughs> I gotta get some mac. Look at that. Look at this. Mac and cheese. That's not box mac and cheese. No, it's not box. It's combo beer. Made from there. scratch. You milked the cows this morning. <laughs> I did. Straight from my beer. What is this? What is this? Champ it. 
Chayote, what's on, what, what's that? Um, it's sort of like uh, squash. Yes, it's kind of pandering dish. It's really good. Looks delicious. I'm down. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get one of those fancy, yeah, we're down to uh, the... white forks? We're down to the baby forks. I know. Oh, I know, the yeah. service is just oh, really yeah. drawn down. This is fine dining. <laughs> this is fine dining right here, dude. You know what, you can just hit your fingers. Yeah. Nobody needs wine? You want red? Mm-hmm. Got you. Thanks. I'm I'll come you. get it. Are you gonna... Sit down. Sit your ass down. So good. Yeah. The fish. Doesn't get any fresher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that heck crap, y'all. Is that those new ones we got in here? No, that's one of the ones I brought, but they look pretty similar. Yeah. So we come to Los Buzos, uh, breakfast and lunch and dinners are provided. So all your food basically that you need is provided in the trip cost. Terry, Morris's wife, she puts out breakfast every single morning, packs us a lunch, take out in the kayaks. Makes it so much easier, you don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, beer is also included and coffee is also included. Probably the two most important things. But yeah, we're just gonna load up on food and coffee right now and hit the water. All right guys, day two here at Los Buzos. Uh, this is Irwin, Vlad, and Jimmy's last day here. So we're gonna try to get on some good fish in the kayaks. We're all going out in the kayaks today. Heading out straight out from the lodge. Uh, we've been having really good luck with rooster fish, uh, snapper, all kinds of stuff. So uh, we're gonna go out there, see if we can get on some good fish. Got a nice bonita, got it out. It's still lively, got on the hook real fast. Pretty much perfect, so I'm set up for success. We'll see. I had a run, but he stopped. Something ran with this bonita for a little ways. Then it either let go or it bit half of it off. Can't tell. Yeah. Something got the bait pretty good. Ripped a big hole in him. He's got small teeth marks. Looks like a wahoo or a big mackerel. Yeah, it's got a bunch of small teeth scrapes on it. He's uh, he's seen better days, I think. Time to go find another bait. Yep. Nice. Nice yellow snapper. Beautiful yellow snapper. Oh yeah. Got on the extra app. Single hook extra app. That right there, some fish tacos. Yellow snapper. Great to eat, you know, we're fishing for bait, but you never know what you're gonna catch out here. That does not really make that great a bait. It's a little too big, you can't really troll them too fast. But uh, I don't know, one thing we've learned out here is that no bait really is too big. Adam had a massive horse eye jacket smashed by a huge rooster fish, so you never know out here. It's not that big. Snapper, yeah. I'm marking a ton below me, bro. Beautiful Colorado snapper. Beautiful fish, fun fight. Uh, they're also great eating, but we got tons of fish back at the lodge. No need to keep this guy. So we'll go ahead and release him, but I'm marking a ton of fish on the bottom. So we'll see if there's a bunch of these guys down there. This morning it was a little slow, came out here at 150 feet, and now they are chewing. It's only a fun fight on light tackle. These things, uh, they fly hard. We got bait busting over here now. Hopefully it's more blue runners. Oh yeah, they're busting good. A little too far. There we go. There we go. There we go.
Finally. Good bait in the water got him in quick. Dude, if I get another one, you want to put some in the bucket? They're smaller. Yeah, they're not that big. I feel like this is not a bad place to ever lie. Bait's out anyways, I mean. There's got to be some predators around here if they're all here. Yeah, I see, I'm marking some big stuff off near the bottom. Finally got some bait. I'll try to get a couple more. Uh, Adam's got a, a five gallon bucket. See if we can't load up on a few since they've been so hard to find today. Go ahead and get a little for kind of reserve. It's gonna be tricky handing them off. Both of us have lines out. 10-4, 150, the 150 foot range is, uh, man, it seems on fire, dude. Like there's there's big, big fish on the bottom underneath these blue runners. We both got live baits out and then uh, the blue runners just going insane. So if you wanna head out this way, we're all out here. Couldn't find bait all morning. They were just out here all, the whole time. What are you throwing, the crappie jig? I'm on. I'm gonna start pedaling to use. Can't get it too quick. Oh! Ha ha ha! Saw that coming. <laughs> oh man. Never was much of a basketball star. Yep. That's what I figured. So something weird is going on out here. Uh, we can't really figure it out. We've been putting live bait after live bait in the water. Nice little jack of all. We'll put this guy out live. All different species and every single one has either disappeared or the hook has been bitten off completely. Came off. What was that? I don't know. Didn't lose my hook. Bad news is I've got bite marks in my leader. Now it feels like shark activity, but that doesn't make much sense because we never see sharks out here. So we can't really figure out what's going on. Just gotta try to get another bait, keep after it. Uh, so I don't really know what happened. I've never had this happen in my entire life, but uh, I just dropped down a, about a $16 jig and uh, on its way down, all of a sudden I kind of felt the, the weight give way. Something cut my main line, my braid, about 50 feet above the jig. And it makes no sense. It's just while it was falling down, it got bit off, I guess. So yeah, my bimini twist is gone, my leader's gone, and my uh, my jig's gone. Only thing I can think of, maybe a mackerel swimming through the water with his mouth open and literally just ran into the line as the jig was going down. Absurd. I don't really know what happened. It's getting difficult not to get frustrated at this point. Looked up good on the vertical jig. Dropped it down 200 feet. Made some good runs now, it's not. Oh. Oh. Oh my God, they're right below me. So I just dropped the uh, vertical jig down 200 feet because I was marking some fish. Dropped it all the way down to the bottom. It got slammed and uh, yeah, all of a sudden it took a really strong run, I thought. Turns out that a uh, shark got it. So I think that solves the mystery of who the culprit is. <laughs> Just reeled up the head and looked down and had about three or four sharks circling. So pretty sure I could drop this down and catch a shark pretty easy. Woo! Might be something good. We, we don't know. I'll tell you in a minute. Can't tell yet. Woo. Shark. I want to get my hook back. Let's we'll see if I can. This one's freaking feisty, huh? Ooh. Should have got a D hooker. Got him. Marking all kinds of fish down there. I hope they're not all sharks. Shark. Big. Like four foot. Again, hooked up on the jig again. Feels pretty good. Feels really good. Gotta get it turned around in case it's a snapper. Just made a pretty good run straight down. Feels pretty heavy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna touch something really good on the vertical jig. This could be
a tuna. It's running down. My reel's kind of locking up. I don't know what's going on. Uh, something good. Something wrong. Something wrong with my reel. Something wrong with my reel seat, I think. No, dude, I, I'm telling you, I can't reel. Something wrong with my reel. It's kind of working. It feels like the reel seat's coming off the rod. It feels like a tuna, man. If it's a tuna, it's definitely the biggest one I've caught. It does not help that my reel is, uh, like falling apart. Oh my gosh, falling apart. Yeah, I got color. Oh, dude, it's a big shark on the jig. Big shark. Big shark on the vertical jig. Not what I was hoping for. Oh, there's more sharks following him. Got sharks following the sharks. Shark! So I've got a shark hooked up on the vertical jig of all things. And he just hooked up right next to me. He's got a shark, just came airborne twice. Uh, I've got two sharks circling the shark I'm catching. They, uh, they're here. I don't know if it's these blue runners that have them here. Uh, we've really never caught sharks here, but uh, they're in thick to death. Ah. Oh, this guy is not giving up. Oh, and he bit me off after all that. Good lord, that was a fight. Dude, he like broke my rod. Something, something seriously wrong is uh, going on here. I think that shark just broke my jigging rod. Uh, which, you know, beginning of the trip, not ideal. Put that away for now. Worry about it later. I think it's these blue runners. We gotta get away from these things. Wow, that was a little excitement. Man, it's so bizarre how many sharks are out here. I, I really uh, can't believe it. I've never been out here in June. This is my third time here to Los Buzos, um, each time for at least a week. And uh, I've never caught a shark. We never really get fish sharked. Um, earlier in the week at the Lump, Jimmy had a yellowfin tuna that got sharked. And I remember telling him, that's crazy, dude. That never happens. That never happens here. And uh, we all kind of wondered why there's no sharks here. Well, I don't know what is going on right now, but there's like a sharknado here in Kambutal because uh, I don't know if it's some kind of migration or what, uh, but there are literally just, I, I think, tens of thousands, maybe more sharks here. Um, it's insane. And they weren't here uh, yesterday. So that's, that's what's really weird is, you know, we were out here fishing yesterday, didn't have any shark encounters, and uh, all of a sudden today they're freaking everywhere. So. Uh, I don't know what's going on. There's also bait everywhere. I mean, maybe that's it. Maybe this bait's migrating through and sharks have been following it, but uh, it's been tough to weed through them. Uh, I've been getting kind of frustrated. I mean, my tackle is just getting destroyed by these things. I, uh, I'm just, I've downed eight jigs. Uh, I'm running out of leader. I mean, it's, it's been a struggle. But uh, anyways, just got to get over it and, uh, you know, keep trying to weed through them. So I'm meeting Adam and Andy out here. Uh, back out in 150, the birds are still out here working on bait. Uh, it is now one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, they've been here all day, so uh, we're gonna get a bait. And this time we're gonna carry it in the bucket, try to get a bait for each of us, carry them in the bucket with the aerator uh, back into shallower water and a little more east, see if we can't get out of these sharks because uh, that yellowfin tuna made it maybe a quarter mile before a shark took it. So uh, that's the plan. First, we gotta get a bait. They said they're not really biting right now, so uh, we'll see. All right, so just caught back up with these birds. Looks like the blue runners haven't gone too far. Place the hook that that uh, shark just bit off. I'm gonna try to get another blue runner and then I'm gonna beeline it in shallower, see if we can get out all these sharks. But there's a, a massive school of them. Uh, that was about a six foot, looked like a black tip or a bull, only got it within about six, seven feet of the kayak. What? All right, yeah, I'm gonna grab a bait and head in with you, man. I'm on. Adam's hooked up. He's been finding it for a little while. It's something pretty heavy. He's not sure. He says there's a chance it's a shark. Kind of feels like it could be a rooster. Sometimes it's tough to tell. Oh, dude. Oh, careful, careful. The broken rod tip. Oh, my God. Oh. Dud rooster, bro. Nice. Nice. 
That is a stud! Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh, careful, man. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Stud rooster fish here at Los Buzos. Right out in front of the lodge. Oh man, we've been weeding through the sharks all day. What, are you tired, man? <laughs> you wanna release them? All right, snap a couple photos. We're gonna let this girl go. What a stud rooster fish. Adam Fish just caught, Los Buzos guide. I mean, we've been weeding through the sharks all day and uh, finally it paid off. He went. Oh, what an amazing catch by Adam Fisk, a uh, guide here at Los Buzos. Huge rooster fish. Uh, what do you think that was? I mean, 50? 55, maybe 60 pound rooster fish. Awesome catch. Been weeding through the sharks all day. What an incredible way to end it. If you want to come out here and fish with Adam, he'll put you on roosters just like that. Hit him up. <laughs> So this area right here is what we call the S-curve here right in front of the resort. Uh, basically we got rocks on this side, got a rocky reef on this side, and uh, that's actually what allows us to come in and out of the surf zone, you know, no matter what the conditions are. But it's actually a pretty tight squeeze where you got, you know, kind of breakers right on that side, breakers right on this side, and there's little room for error, a little margin for error. So uh, that's what us guys are here for. Uh, we help guide the clients in and out of this pass, make sure no one gets rolled, gets flipped coming in. Um, at high tide, it can get a little squirrely, but you know, as long as you stay on the path, you know, it can feel a little sketchy because you got you know giant waves breaking, you know, maybe 10 feet to your right, like that one. Like that right there would have been a day ender for sure. And now you can see it's it's coming up and it, it can make you really nervous. But basically as long as you're in the right spot, it shouldn't break on us. Yeah, it's all going according to plan. All right, we're testing out our new uh, kayak hauling machine. Look at that. Look at that. Money! Oh yeah, I'm liking that. We always joke that uh, dragging up the kayaks up this hill is the worst part. Now we got some horsepower to help us get it done. If you want to get out to Los Buzos, they offer all-inclusive guided fishing trips year-round. The fishing is always on fire, and if you request one of my weeks, you can join me on the water and co-star in a future episode. Simply shoot an email to info at losbuzos.com and tell them Robert Field sent you. Oh my god, what an incredible catch. Great to see that huge... Oh man, what an incredible cat! Oh, I'm so tired, bro. <laughs> you sound like me. Uh, struggling, dude. Oh man, what an incredible! <laughs> now, now I'm because we talked about it. I'll never do it right again. Like done for the day.